somebody asked me which is the best screen recorder for Linux. So I'm here on Fedora. To me, the one that I've used that never gives me any problems is Simple Screen Recorder. If you're on Fedora as well or any Red Hat related Linux distros, you can install Simple Screen Recorder. So let's first of all see how to install it. It's already installed. That's what I'm using right now. So if you want to search if it is available in your distro, you can do DNF search simple screen recorder. DNF search simple screen recorder. Okay, so if you see this, it means that it's available for you and you can just install it by doing DNF install. I'll do control L to clear the screen. I'll do DNF install simple screen recorder. Of course, I need to use sudo. So if I do that, it's going to run the command and I can enter my user password. All right, so nothing to do. Package is already installed. That is if you are on rel related distros if you're on debian related distros you can do apt search you can actually it is there i'm sure it is i'm sure it is available in the debian repository ubuntu repository so if you're in those distros you can do sudo apt install simple screen recorder of course that's not going to work here but that's how you can install it on Debian, Ubuntu, any Debian based distro. Once it is installed, to use it, simply open it. Of course, you're going to see Simple Screen Recorder recording itself. I'm using XFCE Desks Desktop. So to find it, it will be under Multimedia, Simple Screen Recorder. And this is the interface it's going to show you. And then you can continue and here you can create a profile. Profiles are just different settings that you want to record in. Maybe in some situations you want to record in 4K and maybe in some situations you may want to record in 1080p. That's what the profile is, is for. Maybe you want to use a different microphone. That's what this is for. So you can create a new profile. I'll just give it a name. Tutorial. Okay. As for the backend, I'm going to leave the default one, which is X11. So you can also see when you hover over anything and then you wait for a few seconds, it's going to give you some explanations for everything. Okay, so recording, you need to decide. Do you want to record the entire screen? Or do you want to record certain elements? So for instance, in this case, you can record the entire screen. If you have multiple screens, you'll choose the screen there that you want to record. In this case, I have one screen. That's the one that will be recorded. Record a fixed rectangle. You can just draw where you want to record, right? But in most cases, you're probably going to want to record the entire screen. And sometimes you just want to follow the cursor and that will record the entire screen with the cursor. So where the cursor goes, that's where it will go. But mostly, as I've said, you probably will end up recording the entire screen. And then the frame rate, you can say you want to record 60. If you want to record 120, you can record 120 FPS. Of course, the more the FPS, the higher the CPU usage. Higher frame rates use more CPU time. So you can scale the video. You can see here we are recording the screen at 1080p. But if I wanted to scale it down so that the final video will be for ATP, that's something I can do. And then, of course, you want to record the cursor. Audio input, this is the most important part of your recording session. You will need to, first of all, figure out which microphone you want to use. So the back end, you'll just use the default one. In this case, Pulse Audio is the default. And last time I used Ubuntu, I saw... Pulse audio was also the default. Whichever one is the default one, just use that. Don't change that setting.
and then the source this is a microphone that you're going to use in my case you can see i have these microphones but this is the one i have selected to use so before you record of course you're going to first of all you're going to do a test recording to make sure that your audio is working always always do a test recording to make sure that the audio is working to see if the mic is working and you're going to see that in a moment before i leave this page so i'm on X xfce if you're using gnome desktop on gnome there's a setting for audio go to your setting for audio make sure the microphone you've selected here is the one that is being used as a default in my case on xfce i can check that right here so if i click on this you can see that down here the microphone that i'm using here is the same microphone that is being selected here as the default and that's what you want to do make sure on your settings on your audio settings you choose the right microphone click continue the next item here is where you want to save the file you can browse you can choose a folder where you want to store your recordings you want to store the recordings so i can select that and then save and then separate file per segment you can add a timestamp this is important it helps you to know which was the last recording so of course you don't want this separate file per segment this happens if for example i come here the current audio that i'm recording i can pause it and once i pause it and then the next time i resume the recording the recording will be in a different file so i don't want to separate the files like that so leave this unchecked unless that is something you want the container for your video so do you want the output video to be mkv mp4 or any of these you can choose which one of these you want h264 that is very universal so that's the one i leave checked constant rate factor this the default is usually 23 you can just leave it at that preset the higher the preset the less cpu is going to use but the files will be a bit larger and they say that the quality uh, is not affected much by this setting so you can try whichever one you want this is just an issue of you trying and testing to figure out the best option for you and then allow frame skipping i usually leave this checked because if you don't leave it checked it consumes a bit more cpu so definitely check that and then the audio codec you can use whichever audio codec you want here they recommend vobis as a default and mp3 bitrate in kilobytes per second of course if you want your audio quality to be better you can do it you can raise this usually i think it comes with the default of 128 but you can raise this if you wanted you can even go 320 kilobytes kilobits per second but i like to leave it there at 256 so sound quality you can just use what i'm using here if you're not sure and after that you can click continue and you can start recording so let's say i want to do a test recording i can just click there and start recording this is a test recording to make sure that my audio is working and then once you do that recording you're just going to click there on save recording if you don't want to save it you can cancel recording and confirm that you want to cancel so i'm just going to save recording then i can open the file and it will be stored in the location that i set and i can try to play it let me play it with vlc there we go the audio is working everything is working that's how to use simple screen recorder it doesn't record your webcam by default so to record your webcam you are going to need a second webcam software and maybe put your webcam somewhere in that corner and record whatever you need to record but before i end let's see what we have up here so whenever you're recording it will turn red and you can pause a recording you can cancel the current recording you can also hide the window so if you come to the recording that i'm currently doing you'll see that the total time is 16 minutes the fps is that 
and the current file size is that and you can also preview whatever you're doing if you start to preview all right that should end this video if you need a simple recorder a simple screen recorder to record what you're doing on your desktop maybe you're doing demonstrations software demos illustrations you can use simple screen recorder and this is how to use it that's it for this one until next time